G'day. Not every new habit needs to be for life. Welcome to day 15 of the lockdown here in Malaysia and of course day 15 of not shaving. Decided to get out of the house a little bit today down around the pool area in our apartment complex. We're not allowed in the pool but at least at this stage we're allowed outside so I thought I'd um, get a little bit of fresh air. And that quote, the idea that not every new habit needs to be for life, is from a guy called Sam Sperlin. Now, Sam is a partner at The Ready, which is an organization I've spoken to you about a few times before, and it's the organization led by Aaron Dignan, who wrote the book Brave New Work, and it's all about basically organizational change. That's what The Ready is. They're an organizational change consultancy, I guess. And the interesting thing is, when I spoke to Sam about that quote, he said he didn't really mean it in the context of what we're going through today. But the truth is, of course, it's actually really relevant to today for many people because a lot of us are being told that during these times of lockdowns and isolations and limited movement, you should stick to your old routine, stick to your old habits as much as you can to maintain a sense of normality. So you get up at the same time, you have the same breakfast, you shave every morning, you put on the same clothes, stick to your normal routine, stick to your normal habits. But there's another school of thought, of course, which is why not try new habits? because now is a great time to test those new habits out and maybe they might stick, but maybe they don't. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to stick to those new habits that you try. So it's actually a great time right now, I think, to try out your new habits. So I'd love to hear from people out there, what are you doing? Are you sticking to old routines and old habits or are you trying on new habits for size? And some of those new habits you might be forced into as opposed to wanting to, But do you think they're going to stick or do you think you're maybe going to throw them out when this is all over again? So let me know in the comments below. And listen, if you're really hard up for something to do, you can head on over to trentmonday.com forward slash ebooks. There's a few ebooks over there that I think might be of interesting. I've got the Tomorrow Spa, which is all about what I thought the future of hotel spas will look like. Now, that was a book written a few years ago now. But uh, a lot of those concepts and thoughts are really starting to become super relevant, I think, right now. There's another one there on the organizational face of wellness, how hotel spas could be the face of wellness in the future, the the door, if you like, the, the looking glass into the world of wellness for many hotel guests. And then there's another one there, the final major ebook there is about hotel spas and the wellness journey, how hotel spas can start to integrate elements of wellness. There's also a little one there on Instagram strategies, which is super, super practical, probably not relevant if you're shut down at the moment, but might come in handy later on. So go check them out. They're all free. Trentmonday.com forward slash ebooks. Uh, let me know how you like it or not. Let me, let's have a discussion about it if you think that there's something in there that you take, you take uh, exception to or that you disagree with. Alrighty, that is it for today. I do thank you for your time and I will be back again tomorrow. See ya. I can't help myself.